स्टार्ट मिस्टर वाइस चेयरमैन आई वॉज स्पीकिंग अबाउट दी नीड फॉर डेवलपिंग अ स्ट्रॉन्ग यू एन डेलीगेशन आई विश दैट दी ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर वुड गिव हिज अटेंशन टू दिस एस्पेक्ट ऑफ द मैटर पर्टिकुलरली इन व्यू ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट इन द नेक्स्ट डिकेड और टू पॉलिटिक्स ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड वुड टेक ऑन अ कॉम्प्लेक्स कैरेक्टर एंड इट इज नेसेसरी दैट मेन आर ट्रेंड फ्रॉम नाउ ऑन फॉर टेकिंग पार्ट इन इंटरनेशनल अफेयर्स इन द यू के एंड द United States such delegations are built with men who have wide knowledge of international affairs and there should be other qualification for a men to be included in such a delegation in this connection i should also like to mention that it is time for government to develop sound conventions regarding the conduct of foreign affairs in the united states they have accepted the principle of bipartisan consultation on important affairs of policy for example when president kennedy stood for election president einstein however even during the period of the conduct of the campaign of president kennedy kept him informed about major developments in foreign affairs we have seen our government sending troops out of this country to the congo and at that time i had raised the point that before troops left our country for any assignments of an unusual character like the congo assignment members of the opposition should be informally consulted there will be no question of any leakage of information whatever if leader in the opposition are consulted on important aspects of foreign policy the consultative committee of the external affairs ministry does go some way to meet the needs of exchanging information about foreign affairs but the informal consultation of the kind that i mention where the leader of the opposition and leaders of other parties are called and told by the prime minister about unusual developments would strengthen the convention that the foreign policy of the country has the support not only of the congress party but also of the entire country i was speaking about our external publicity and it is a subject on which i think i can speak with some confidence as i have been an old time 
न्यूज पेपर मैन इन दिस कंट्री द मटीरियल विच इज सेंट आउट टू फॉरन कंट्रीज इज एक्सट्रीमली स्क्रैपी एंड यूजलेस देयर इज इंक्लूडेड इन दीज मैसेजेस सम स्टेटमेंट ऑफ वट दिस मिनिस्टर वॉज सेंग समेयर वी आर ट्राइंग टू गिव पब्लिसिटी टू मिनिस्टेरियल एक्टिविटीज एंड इट इज इनएविटेबल दैट सम सच पब्लिसिटी शुड बी गिवन बिकॉज मिनिस्टर्स आर इन चार्ज ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट but one abroad does not get a real idea of what is happening in the country i would like to suggest for the consideration of the external affairs ministry that they should send a fortnightly assessment of what is happening in india written dispassionately not to please a minister or to highlight something that he has done but to give an objective assessment of what is going on in the country in the old days when the british government was in existence such fortnightly reports used to be sent by various state governments and i think a beginning can be made in that direction in this matter the other point i would like to suggest is that publicity is a complicated and technical matter the foreign service as it is constituted today does not have sufficient training in publicity the estimates committee which went into the demands of the external affairs ministry mentioned about the methods of training which have been adopted but since our foreign service men are not trained in publicity work and one sees for example that a lot of confusion has arisen in the united states over ambassadors nehru's statement i think the external affairs ministry might well set up a committee of members of parliament who are conversant with external publicity and some newspaper to advise the external affairs ministry from time to time i do not think that the committee will ask for information which is confidential or secret but they can assist the newspaper men there are a handful of competent men who would be willing to serve on the committee in an advisory capacity they would be able to tell the external affairs ministry what should be done i might mention also that the estimates committee had recommended the creation of a cultural cell sir to my mind we have also to be clear in our mind regarding the objective of rural industrialization do we mean to have only diversification of rural economy and or we going to have rural industrialization only in order to give some help to those who find themselves 
unemployed during a certain period of the year are we aiming at utilizing local resources and meeting local needs through diversification of rural economy or have we a more fundamental objective in mind when we are typing trying to industrialize the rural areas without this i am afraid rural industrialization will not be possible